Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make naans on the hob. Very easy, almost as good as in the town door. And I'm going to just, uh, this is some dough I made yesterday. And roll one out here. And as you can see, it's quite thin. And we're just going to put it in here. There's no grease in there at all, it's just a, a hot pan. I'm just going to put it in there just like that. And if you watch for a couple of minutes, you'll see that uh, as the, the bottom of it heats up, bubbles will appear on the top. Just like when you go to a tandoori restaurant and they bring out the naans, there's all the bubbles on top. I've actually found that doing it this way is better than doing it in the oven now. Um, I do, I, it's obviously better in a tandoor, but um, if you don't have one, uh, then why not just try it on the pan because it does work very well. As you can see, if you get closer in there now, you see that there's bubbles starting to appear. And that means that it is cooking on the underside. The bubbles will get quite large. Just the little ones at first. That means it is starting to cook on the bottom side, yep. Only takes about three minutes per naan. And then once they're cooked, you just uh, butter the top of it, put it in the oven, in a low oven, uh, under a, uh, a towel of some sort, and it'll keep warm. See, so they're getting quite large now, just like at the restaurants. Uh, they're getting nice bubbles on the top. Okay, now as the bubbles start getting bigger, I'll check the other side again. As you see, it doesn't stick. No, there's no need for any grease at all on this. Uh, it doesn't stick at all. And they're getting quite nice and big. A lot of times I do turn it over just to cook the other side, just for a little bit. That gives it some black spots or some brown spots on the other side. And it won't... Uh... And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a really nice way to cook it. It can be done anywhere, it can be done while you're camping, it can be done uh, just for, uh, for an easy lunch. I say I do make this up the day ahead of time so I've got it whenever I want it. I do use fresh yeast, uh, my, my recipe is actually on my blog. I do use fresh yeast because I do see that, that works a little bit better than uh, the packaged stuff. And fresh yeast is easy to come by these days, just go ask any, any baker or even the major shops. Grocery stops, a little bit around on top, and you've got yourself a naan, and that that is really nice. A little bit more to get a few more bubbles there. All right, so that's it. There you go, just like up. Oh, I see a hand coming in there. Somebody wants some. Here, Jen, you want to try some? There you are. <laughs> I don't blame her, it is quite nice.